first of all, we want to say thank you all so much. Come on up here. Dude number two. Thank you so much for those of you, for all of you coming to celebrate him on today. We are so proud of him. It's an understatement just to say we're proud of him because we are extremely proud of him. We're going to talk more about that later, but we're going to go on and uh, get ready to eat in just a few minutes. But we just want to say thank you so much. You want to say thank you real quick? Hey, you did. Let me. No, he'll, he'll think about it. We'll come back later. But we just want to bless the food so we can go on and get started in all of this. Beautiful liquid sunshine. <laughs> before, before I bless the food, let me say everyone, truly, I truly thank you for taking time from your busy schedules and coming from the distances that you have. Um, just to spend time with our family and also just show Stephen your support and saying congratulations for um, the monumental task that he just um, came through and the achievement. So I really do mean it when I say thank you so much for taking time from your busy, busy schedules and being here with us. So what I want to do is I want to bless the food so we'll be able to eat. Now guys, I want you to really enjoy yourself. Eat what you can, eat as long as it's there. Um, eat what you can and um, we'll just see where it go from there, okay? So with that, if you do not mind, would you please bow your heads. Lord, we give you thanks for this food that we're about to receive. Our prayer, Lord, is that you will bless it, protect it, sanctify it, that it may be used for your kingdom building. Remember the hands that so diligently labor, Lord, to feed thy people. Lord, I ask you to remove any impurities that may cause sicknesses or anything of that sort to thy people. Lord, I pray that you be mindful, Lord, of that, that we may be able to bless and honor thy name. Now, for doing this for us, Lord, we are careful to give thy name the praise. For this is the prayer that we ask the Holy Spirit. To deliver to the Father, for it is both in the name and under the blood of both our Lord and our Savior, for you are Jesus. You are the Christ. Amen. Amen. So, honoree, go and get in line so you can get your plate, get your food. There is hand sanitizer. <laughs> It's all about him today and what he wanted, his specific menu. 
So we tried our best to do exactly what he, what he wanted us to do. Again, we hope that you all enjoy yourselves, and thank you again for coming. And I just, again, I want y'all to see the transition. This, this means everything to me, the transit, because once, when this is over, he's full grown. Never. <laughs> never. He said you'll never get he's, rid he's of He's full grown, people. No. He's full, okay, I'll do it if I want to, not because I have to. Now that's that part. So, okay, so, so we watch the transition. As he go across there and get his face, notice he's going from a, a young man to a, a full grown. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
What are you about to do? You own a car for covering him and keeping him at all times and now it's time for us to allow you to soar and I know you will you've come from good stock you know what to do and now it's time for you to implement those things that you've learned as long as dad and I have breath in our bodies, we will always be here for you. Don't ever forget it. But I stand here today so godly proud of you and your accomplishments. I love you. <laughs> Let me say this. First start off on scriptural wise. As my wife says, our faith, we stand firmly in it. We don't back down, don't back up, won't give in, and won't give out on it. The Bible instructs us to train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he gets older. That denotes there's a space of time from the time that you taught it to them to they get it. We call it growth spurt. Just let them grow. You got to let them go and let them grow. No matter how much you try to put in them, you're going to have to let them get out there and implement them. So we went through that process with them, and God is in the making process with them. But I just want to quickly give you this, and I'm not going to hold you on because it's not a sermon, and I see you in church. I'm just saying. But I recall... Um, <laughs> I recall his, um, he is a, my wife always makes it clear, he is a, he was a student athlete, not an athletic student, okay? So the academics came first, student. So many of them look at the talent of the kid or look at the God gift of the kid and they bank everything around that and when something goes south, they have no fallback plan. So by him being a student athlete, I recall um, right at the end of his, um, basketball career in high school and so um we all know what we was facing and what was getting ready to come through and the scholarships did not come in like we were hoping because schools everybody was kind of on it let's just wait and see let's let's just see what's going to go on nobody knew what was going to happen during 2019-2020 so um i recall that there was a school that came and offered him the full um the full ride but just wasn't sure about it. We did the, the tour, and they did. They went all out. They did everything to try to, to bring him in. And so um, I looked, and I just wasn't sure. So there was a miscommunication with he and I. And so what took place is the school pulled back their offer, and Mom lost it. There was what you call a silent argument that was happening. She didn't say nothing, but I heard everything that she was saying. And so with that said, I said that to say this. They were in the, um, the high school tournament. And I remember going to my son and I said to him, I said, Stephen, Dad needs your help. I need your help, man. He said, sure, Dad, what's up? I said, listen, there's no room for error here. The scholarships are not here. 
this is a do or die. I said, son, you cannot lose a game. I told him what I need you to do is I need you to score 20 points. And if you cannot score 20 points, just make sure you do not lose. Because I'm trying to put on the best face possible for the scholarship. He said, Dad, I got you. And I really, 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 at that time, depended on my son. He said, Dad, I got you. And he played, uh, as his coach will tell you, he played like a maniac throughout this whole thing. So much so, it was impressive that it caught the eye of Queens University. And they came and they made him an offer. Told us they said they'd never done this in the history of their school. So they made an offer over the telephone. So he took the offer. Now, I said all that for this reason. God has so blessed you, son. There's a few things you need to understand. God has given you a quarter of a million dollar education and you don't owe a dime. God has blessed you with your first apartment and he has furnished it from wall to wall with brand new everything and you don't owe a dime. God has just blessed you with your new Honda and you don't owe a dime. What I'm saying, son, is you are debt free. And even from a young child when you did not understand, mom put you on her credit. And she made sure everything was taken care of. So now that you have your own name, you have A1 credit. So the point that I'm making to you is this. God has blessed you. Everything you have done, God has been watching. He understands the growth, uh, growth spurt and the growth process that you will go through. You are debt free, son. You have your name. Nobody owns you. You are debt free. So all I ask you to do is use what God has given you wisely. Everything is out there. You don't have to have it. You don't have to wear nobody name brand nothing so it can make you. You wearing their clothes make them. So understand always, God has given you a hand to go by. You take full advantage of it and do your mom and dad proud. I love you, son. Or I wanted to have it in Charlotte because I know how my mom is. But events like this, like she will put all the pressure on herself to do it and I'm like mom like I want you to celebrate this day just as much as me so I'm like, like I need you to find your team like whoever your team is we're like find them get them together because I don't want you doing this all by yourself and then she came she was like why not have it in, in Winston so when we talked about that I was like okay that makes a lot more sense so let's do that but I said I had to say like thank you all so much for taking time out of your day um, I know not everybody is from the area so like some people had to travel some people um, farther than others, but again, I, I do want to tell you all thank you so much uh, for coming out here and really spending this day with me, and stepping stepping out of one journey and stepping into another journey. So again, I thank you all. I love you all for that. Um, each and every one of you played a part in my journey now and where I'm at now. Um, and again, like I said, I appreciate you all for that. And then I would say, just looking back kind of where, like where I'm at now. I remember, two things I remember, like specifically about school in my freshman year, was moving in and around Christmas time. <laughs> um, moving in, it was ironic because we all know with the pandemic, with college players, they want you to move in in the summer so you can kind of get acclimated earlier, take summer classes, workouts and all that. So I was supposed to move in in June. I didn't end up moving in until October 1st, which is my mom's birthday. So moving in, her youngest, in the college during the pandemic on her birthday was... <laughs> but um, I remember specifically that, that day, as time was going on, I was telling dad, I pulled that to the side and said, like, y'all have to go. I'm like, I'm trying to be strong right now, but like, y'all have to, y'all have to go, like, now. And he's like, like, mom is letting go, so I kind of give her time. But this week, I kind of went back and watched mom's YouTube videos when I first moved into college, my freshman year, and just kind of seeing the evolution and the growth um, that not only me, but that we all had together. And honestly, like it almost brought tears to my eyes, especially that video, because 
like I saw dad have a moment on the way back and I don't see that too often. So for him to have that, I realized, okay, this is real. This is, this is a real situation. Um, and just looking back on the sacrifices that my parents made, like they, they literally got me through my first year of college. Like without them, I don't know what I would have done. And I, and I mean that with everything in me because they made trips every Saturday, whether it was just to get groceries, whether it was to watch a game, whether it was just to come out there, just to come out there. They made trips every Saturday to, to help me with my process and moving into college. So that was one. And then again, like I said, with, around Christmas time, <clears throat> we were supposed to get a week for graduation, I mean for um, winter break, but a few of my teammates tested positive. So we got three weeks instead of one. So that three weeks I was home and enjoyed it. Again, to keep long story short, like, the day before I had to go back, I remember walking in the house and literally just breaking down crying. I'm like, I don't want to go back. Like, I don't want to do this. I'm tired, like I'm scared. Like just the 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 growth that I had to go through with basketball and then in a pandemic and being away from family and my girlfriend at the time. Um, and then everywhere too, like, I felt like whenever I saw on social media, it was just some type of police brutality. And I'm like, I'm tired of seeing it. Like I'm just, my mind is just like, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm like, I don't want to go back. And we just sat there and talked and they got me through it. But when I went back to school, <clears throat> like the, that four days before the new year, honestly, like I was in a, just a person. I was, like I went to practice. I was at practice, my body was, but like my mind was somewhere else. I wasn't there, like I was, I wasn't associated with stuff. I was just there, like I said, like logging into class, like all of that, anything you think of. And I just remember like calling mom and dad and that's one thing, like they, they know this too. And as soon as they answered, we're home. But they, like, you know what, we're coming up there right now. And I remember they made a trip up there, and I'll never forget, Mom said when she saw me walk out, she could tell by my body language that it just, that, that wasn't her sign. And I remember we had a very vulnerable conversation, like, in the car, and I was just telling them how I felt and why I felt the way that I did, and just everything that I was going through. And that was another thing that we got through. And I remember, too, just, as the year went on, like, I FaceTimed them when I first got there literally every day. Every day, like, I FaceTimed them. Good days, bad days, all of that. FaceTimed them every day, and then every day turned into every week. And, and then month. every two weeks. Every and then every month. You just didn't call it all. See? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, like, I, I, I just got happy made. I, got, I, came, more, I came more comfortable. Um, there'd be times where I would just pop up at home, all of that. But it was just, just to see the growth. It just reminds me like everything's a process. You can't have everything right when you want it. That's not how that's not how life works. Everything's a process, everything's a journey. And if you stay in that process, if you stay in that journey, like it'll pay off. I know Hop says all the time, like in, embrace the journey. That's that's part of it. Like that's that's what makes you you embrace that journey, embrace the ground. You can't run from it. It builds you, makes you stronger. But I said that to say, I don't give you your flowers enough, but to dad, to mom. God knows, I thank y'all so much. Like, just the way, what y'all do, not only for me, but for everybody around y'all, how y'all are just so willing to give up time in your day to pour into others, and just how you're so willing to just give what you can to others, and how you're supportive of your children, of your family, and just everything that you do. In case I don't say you know, which I know I don't, but I love you all. I love you both so much. Like so, so, so much. I, I appreciate you both. I love you both. That love will never leave, will only grow. But again, just thank you all for everything that you've done for me. Even with now with moving into my apartment, like I know I was struggling, I was nervous. <laughs> I was very nervous and me and mom had a conversation and we budgeted, but just little stuff like that, just kind of helping me. I kind of thought like when I got, when I became grown, it was just okay to kind of let go. But, they still good with me, they still support me. So again, I thank you both so much just for not only for today, but just everything. Honestly, everything that you all have ever done, the sacrifices that you made at school, AAU, practices, games, all literally everything. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you both so much. I love you and I appreciate you. So
in conclusion, I just want to thank, would you say my team? Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. A huge shout out to, as it pertains to the food, crystals, creations, and husband. <laughs> Also, for Stephen's beautiful cake, he wanted a blue velvet cake. A huge shout out to Darlene's Delectables for his beautiful cake. And last but not least, no, before last, a huge shout out to our brother Tony. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. So much. We're in Charlotte dealing with the graduation. There were some things that our city of Winston-Salem was supposed to take care of as it pertains to this venue and they did not. I made a phone call from Charlotte this morning to Tony, our brother. I got you. So thank you so much for just being willing, even at the drop of a dime, last minute, to make sure that we were good. We love you so much and we appreciate you. Now last but not least, to my only lady, Lady Hope Williams and husband and Mackenzie and favorite event solutions. Thank you so much for all of this beautiful, decor. I believe if we could have gotten Stephen's name out here on the concrete, we would have done that too. But we pretty much wanted almost everything that we touched, touched to be customized. <laughs> so when I tell you that all of these people did whatever they could do to make sure that we were good and that I didn't have to stress and worry also, the phenomenal one himself that's in front of me with this camera, <laughs> Brother Breon. <laughs> Thank you so much. I cannot wait to see this wonderful video. But I appreciate each and every one of you so much. To my family that has traveled here from Virginia, my sister, and my brother-in-law and nieces and nephews. Well, not, not the nephews. Oh, do we have any nephews? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we thank you all so much. And my sister-in-law, Mary, that has come from South Carolina. Oh, my goodness. And Trey. I, I can't start calling names because I'm going to get in trouble. But we do. We appreciate you all so much. We thank you so much. Um, Stephen was gifted a beautiful, for those of you, you know, we lost unexpectedly my mom in 2016. Otherwise she would be right here. Um, and even my husband's brother, my brother-in-law, Don, the same year, they would both be right here. And Stephen had a beautiful picture of my mom that he was gifted by Lady Hope that was attached to his tassel this morning. So he was able to carry her with him through graduation today. And he had been wondering, he had mentioned it to me at all, but he had been thinking of how he could honor her and include her in this day. So that was absolutely perfect. So what I want to do um, to continue to honor and in memory of my mom, we want to release these balloons because she had the best seat in the house on today from the heavens. And if she were here, Stephen, what do you think she would say? Hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> so if we can get balloons, um, they, I think some of them, they're on little paperweights. Lady Hope can help you. And I definitely want us, uh, my sister, my nieces that will come. All of 
our children. Our oldest son, um, his wife is not feeling her best right now, so they could not travel this weekend, and we told, told them we totally understand. Our middle son could not be here because he just, he's in the service and he's in North Dakota, so couldn't be here today. Um, but we want to release these balloons in memory of my mom as we conclude today. So any of them that you can grab. Thank you. You got them. I want to say one more thing. Yeah, shout out to my sister. She made my shirt. Uh, you feel me? She, you know, she made my shirt. I got you. Ready? One, two, three. Let's go.